Hello guys, welcome to today's lecture. Today, before going to the practical part, I just want to explain the CSS part and uh, we are going to um, talk about the cascading and the style sheets and also we are going to uh, explain how we, we are going to use CSS and how we are going to give styles to our HTML part to our elements for example to our paragraphs or head he headings so guys uh, what actually CSS is CSS is the abbreviation of cascading style sheet we are going to use cascading plus style sheets actually when we have elements of uh, paragraph headings uh, list table button these things we are going to change the styles through the CSS or style sheet. Uh, a style sheet is a set of rules defining how an HTML element will be presented in the browser, how you are going to present the paragraph to the browser. These rules are targeted to specific elements in the HTML document. Uh, the cascade part of CSS is a set of rules for resolving conflicts with multiple CSS rules applied to the same elements. For example, if there are two rules defining the color or your H1 elements, the rule that counts last in the cascade order will trump the order. Actually, when you are going to change the H1 uh, property values, for example, you have H1 and uh, you are going to change the color to blue and you are going to make another part also H1 as the color equals to gray, then you're going to change the h1 to color to uh, red uh, what will be modified the last one which is our uh, color is red so we will go through that uh, how we are going to give a style to our uh, html elements we are going to use three ways we have just three ways the first way or external part is actually we are going to uh, make a external an external file outside the HTML file. We are going to have a .css file, which is the cascade and style sheet that we are going to link our HTML file to that CSS file. This is called external or linked style sheet. Then we have embedded, which is internal style sheet. We can have another tag of style. This tag is out of HTML tag. After you're going, we can use after HTML or before HTML tag. We just change, uh, we can have, a, uh, we, we are going to change the style of all our elements inside our HTML file. Then we have inline. This part is actually inside our element tags. For example, I have paragraph tag inside that paragraph tag I'm going to use the attribute of style and I'm going to have a property and a value uh, I can have a background color uh, column blue so it will change the background color into blue so we can give the style in three ways this is actually uh, we are going to give we are going to link our HTML file into a uh, into some CSS files. This is actually external. So inheritance: most elements will inherit many style properties from their parent elements by default. For example, here the parent of parent of parent is body. When your body has uh, some property, and uh, you are going to give some values. For example, you're going to be give background color to blue. So all the elements which are inside the body element, they are going to have the blue background. Mm. So here we have body. We make the paragraph 16 pixel and the font Verdana and the color red. But when it comes to paragraph, make the paragraph blue here. You just changed the uh, color of paragraph into blue, but you didn't modify the uh, font and also size. 
it actually inher uh, inherits it from its parent which is body the body had 16 pixel and we're done a form so it will give take the same thing shortly after styling your first html elements you will find yourself wanting more control over where your styles are applied this is where it specificity comes in uh, sometimes when you actually want to change one h1 into another color and the next h1 want to give another color so we if you if you use h1 and uh, you change the color so all the h1 will will have that color uh, but when you are going to use an id or a class you can do it very easily that one h1 takes another color and another h1 will uh, take another color so here body makes the paragraph 16 pixel word on a red but the paragraph make the paragraph blue and p dot pink here we are going to specify that p dot pink make the paragraph pink here that paragraph which has the class of pink uh, should have pink color so this is uh, another part uh, in html part we have div uh, ideas plan two three two three and uh, we have two paragraph here one is here is some text another is hide this text and uh, oh, i just forgot to say that this is uh, in tag uh, i just forgot the forward slash here also the same thing uh, we just we are just going to specify that we are going to change this paragraph not that one so we are going to uh, give a class um, with the name of hard class so here when we come to id of plan 2323 we are going to use dot as it is the class and we are going to use hash as this is an id so it will change the display equals to none which means that it should not be displayed which one the hard class class here we have this one as it, so this text will be hiding so css syntax how to write three terms of describing your style css rule css selector and css declaration what's this rule what are the selectors and what is the declaration here we have selector and curly bracket property column value semicolon the declaration part is uh, the only statement that you have inside the curly bracket that is the declaration part and selector which element you want to make changes that is our selector for example p or paragraph or or those elements which have id of uh, one and uh, class of zero these things so those are the selectors and the property that you are going to change so every style is defined by a selector and a declaration the declaration contains at least one property value pair together they are called a css rule so this is the css rule together so what's a selector selector is body the element html elements paragraph h1 a they are the selectors so here the selector is typed in front of the declaration with a space separating it and the opening curly bracket here typically extra spaces and returns are added as shown for the sake of readability when we are going to enter and, uh, and write your declaration part in another line this actually this is more readable so here our declaration is color rate uh, i forgot to write the semicolon so css selector uh, you can apply styles to multiple selectors in the same rule by separating the selectors with commas here h1 h2 h3 h4 all of them are headings but i'm just going to um, change the font weight property to bold so i can use one uh, curly bracket and one declarator but i can have multiple selectors just i need comma between them so css declaration 
here the par uh, paragraph we are going to check the property and we are going to give a value the declaration is always defined in a property value pair the two are separated by a column yeah how you define the properties will affect you affect how html elements are displayed you can apply multiple declarations to a selector by separating the declarations with semicolon here we have semicolons after each statement we can have multiple declaration inside one selector inside one curly bracket so selectors we, we can have the type or elements which are paragraph head uh, h1 h2 the table these things or we can have id which we are going to use hash and class which we are going to use dot so uh, body we are going to change the body paragraph h1 ul which is unordered place the same place selector is the type selector which targets an html element by name they are those elements that we, are, we can uh, change its uh, some of its properties so here we have uh, id of logo uh, so we are going to use hash if that was a class we are going to use dot here dot ingredients ingredients is actually the class name and dot is the uh, means that this is a class id was classes the most important difference between ids and classes is that there can be only one id on a page but multiple classes an id is more specific than a class an element can have both an id and multiple classes you can have multiple classes to an element but only one id here one well, id is this one but class is mail and employee and uh, the id is one three five four nine eight seven so the class is female and also it has a class of employee you can have multiple classes to one element so here sidebar dot author sidebar is the id and the author is the class uh, so here a space between two selectors indicates a descendant selector it means uh, they are in separate uh, elements for example id is the for div is it is used for div and the class is used for paragraph so they are separated we just need to use a uh, space uh, here when they are both uh, we had, when there is no space between both are in one element here the div is one element it has two class elements can have multiple classes uh, giving you more control they are written in the css in the exact order they appear in html with no spaces some things you can change with css colors type type size backgrounds spacing sizes borders positions these things you can change through css but content and markup cannot be changed through the css this is going to give only style nothing else so guys uh, this was today's lecture next lecture we are going to go through practical part so guys see you in the next lecture please subscribe our channel and uh, share it with your friends thank you